Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to use prime factorization in order to find the least common multiple or LCM. The LCM of two numbers is the smallest number that they both divide evenly into. So let's get started. Let's find the least common multiple of 6 and 8. In order to use prime factorization, the first thing we need to do is create some factor trees. So first with 6, 2 times 3 equals 6. I will circle the 2 and the 3 because they are both prime. Next, 8, I will start with 2 times 4. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And now 2 times 2 equals 4, so I will circle them also. Next, what I will do is create a prime factorization chart. So with 6, I will write 2 and 3. With 8, I will write 2, skip a space, and then write 2 and 2. Now what I need to do is apply these two simple rules. First, use one factor from every column. Second, use only one factor from a vertical pair. So first, we have 2 and 2. It's a vertical pair, so I would just write 2. I will. The next column is 3, so I will have 3. Then I will multiply 2 and 2. So I have 2 times 3 times 2 times 2, and that equals 24. So the least common multiple of 6 and 8 equals 24. I will continue to work several more examples to help you understand how to use prime factorization in order to find the LCM. Let's go ahead and find the LCM of 16 and 24. So I'm going to begin with a factor tree of both numbers. So with 16, I'm going to go 2 times 8, circle the 2 because it is prime. Now 2 times 4 equals 8, circle the 2 because it is prime, and then 2 and 2. Okay, and for 24, I'll go 2 times 12, circle the 2, uh, 2 times 6, and then 2 times 3, circle both of these. So now I have it down, and I have all the prime numbers identified. Now, remember, I'm going to do my prime factorization chart, 16 and 24, and I'm going to follow these two rules, and I know they're hard to, to read, but I'll just, it's one factor from every column, only one factor from a vertical pair. So now I'm going to write out all the um, prime numbers. Okay, now when I get to 24, I've got a 2, a 2, a 2. Since I don't have another 2, I'm going to skip a space and write a 3. Now I'm going to apply my rules. Remember, only one number from the vertical pair. I'm going to draw this just to keep it neat. So I have a 2, a 2, a 2. Remember, one from every column, a 2 and a 3. Now all I do is multiply these together. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 times 3 equals um, 6, 12, 18 equals 48. So the LCM of 16 and 24 is 48. Now let's try another one. Okay, now on this next one, we're going to find the LCM of 15 and 28. And to speed up the process just a little bit, I went ahead and created the factor trees. And notice that I have all the prime numbers circled. So now I'm going to create my prime factorization chart. So I'm going to write 3 and then a 5. Now for 28, since I don't have a 3, I'm going to skip that. And I don't have a 5, so I'm going to skip. So I'm going to begin right here. So we have 2, 2, and 7. Remember my rules. Use one number from every column and only one factor from a vertical pair. I don't have any vertical pairs, so it's going to be 3 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 7. Okay, and then 3 times 5 is 15. That's 30. That's 60, and 60 times 7 is, let's see if I can do that. 
and 60 times 70 is 420. So the LCM of 15 and 28 is 420. And you can see using this technique, it's fairly easy. The next one I'm going to work actually has three numbers and you can apply all the same techniques and rules. Okay, so here we go. We're going to find the LCM of 30, 12, and 8. And again, I went ahead and completed the factor tree, so uh, and I circled all the prime numbers. Now I'm going to create my prime factorization chart. And when you start getting three numbers, you have to be very careful with your spacing. So let's write this out. Uh, for 30, I have a 2, a 3, and a 5. When I get to 12, this is where it begins to get a little tricky. I have a 2, so I'm going to write the 2 there. I have a 3, so I may want to put tick marks by these, or check marks. And then I have another 2. I don't have a 5, so I'm going to write the 2 here. So I have these completed. So now when I get to the 8, I have a 2 here, so I'm going to put a check. I do not have a 3. I do not have a 5. I do have a 2, and then one more 2. So now I just bring down the columns and start multiplying. So I bring the 2's down. I have a 2, I have a 3, let's go 5, 2, and 2. And now all I have to do is multiply these together. 2 times 3 is 6. And on this one, uh, it would be very easy. I'm just going to put it in the calculator and let's see what we get. Okay, so here's the sequence of multiplication. You have 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 times 2 is 60. 60 times 2 equals 120. So the LCM of these three numbers is 120. And you can see how easy it is using prime factorization.